While Mercury or Hermes are credited as the gods of communication, where do we get our word media from? Most likely Medea, a surprisingly feminist figure from the ancient world who embodies all that social and convergent media has ever been accused of. So sit right back and hear the tale of the original reality television family gone psycho, how Medea got her groove back, and why Jason of the Argonauts would be featured on the talk show circuit if he lived today. There is an ancient Greek tragedy written by Euripides based upon the myth of Jason and Medea, and first produced in 431 BC. The plot centers on the actions of Medea, a former priest princess of the barbarian or foreign kingdom of Colchis, and the wife of Jason. She also appears in the Homeric hymn to Demeter, and in Hesiod's Theogony where she is promoted strongly as a great goddess. She finds her position in the Greek world threatened as Jason leaves her for the Greek princess of Corinth, the daughter of Aeides, king of Colchis, and famous for her magical arts. Medea fell in love with Jason of Jason and the Argonauts, and with magic, helped him acquire the golden fleece from her father, the king. However, afterwards, Jason betrayed her, leaving her for another woman. So Medea caused the death of their two children in revenge and despair, as well as taking the life of Jason's new lover, the princess. Afterwards, Medea married King Aegeus, and by him had a son, Medus. Medea is unique in the ancient world for being divinely condoned and suffering no further punishment after the result of her personal tragedy. She suffers no retribution for the acts she committed by killing her children for the, her fa- their father's infidelity, or for murdering the princess that Jason had run off with. It would seem the ancient world sides with Medea on all of these stances that she takes. Later, Medea married Achilles in the Elysian fields and was honored as a goddess at Corinth although the chief seat of her cult was in Thessaly, which is also known as the home of magic. In fact, far from being decried for her earlier scandal, Medea was made immortal by Hera and became known as the wise one. Medea is also known as the mother goddess of the Medes, like Medusa and Metis. Her name is derived from Sanskrit and the concept of Meda, or female wisdom. Medea is known as a font of the feminine art of healing, and her name is related to the word medicine. She can also restore the dead to life in a magic cauldron, as shown by the myth of Aeson, who was so restored. Pliny called Medea a goddess whose magic arts could control the sun, the moon, and the stars, which is reminiscent of modern satellites. In keeping with the snake found on the Caduceus, she rode in a chariot drawn by serpents. On the chariot itself were wings 
to show that she ruled both the earth with serpents and heaven with birds. According to Herodotus, Medea was the great goddess of all Aryan tribes of Parthia. She is all wise and is key in that she never faced a physical death, but as an ascended mortal, she dwells in forever in heaven. Similar to the transcendence of Enoch in the Gnostic Gospels, who becomes the archangel Metatron, voice of God and master of time, who is similar to Kronos in the Greek Pantheon. Medea is remembered in Ireland as the goddess Madonna, associated with a sacred tree and a regenerative well, whose waters are reputed to soothe and cure sore eyes. Madonna is thought to be the ancient version of the Catholic Saint Lucy in the present day most often shown a pair of torches or a key in the latter periods, depicted in triple form. Media and Medea are intertwined in meaning, much like the Caduceus. Though the play about Medea's early life was initially panned by critics when it initially debuted in ancient Greece, it has simultaneously birthed the same name of almost every electronic art we consume today. The term media speaks of the drama, mystery, and the most unexpected found in the human experience. I leave you with these lines from Euripides' play, which led, lent its name to media as we know it today, a reflection of just how long people have equated media with the destruction of youth. Many fold are thy shapings, providence, many a hopeless matter gods arrange. What we expected never came to pass. What we did not expect the gods brought to bear. So have things gone this whole experience through. Now maybe Media just let everyone believe she killed the children. After all, as a powerful sorceress, she could just resurrect them from her healing cauldron at any time. Perhaps she spirited them away, and Jason's new princess was deserted on an island somewhere. Does it make a difference to the story to know her acts were not permanent, or that they may not even be real? Such is the world of entertainment. Hooray for Hollywood. And with that, I leave you. What do you think, oh listener, about Medea's exploits? Subscribe to Mystic Ashram for more entertainment history awesomeness.